Good morning, it is day one in Istanbul. We decided the best way to start this off was to go to the famous Hagia Sophia. So many people, dude. Like, all these people everywhere. We're on the bridge right now, and all of these are restaurants. We're trying to cross back over to the Galata side where our hotel is. You have a bunch of people fishing right on top. And then right next to it, you have the people eating the fish. I've been trying to get baklava this whole time. What do we get, babe? We got some baklava. We got some baklava. I just tried to cut it in half so we could each try and I just broke my fork into a million pieces. What you think? Pretty good. It's pretty good? Mm-hmm. I thought it was really good. Alright, let me try. Is it good? Yeah. It is good. Yeah. It is good. It's worth it. I understand the hype. Right? <laughs> So we were trying to go to the Basilica Cistern, but apparently it's been closed for months now. Right. So we found another one right here, I guess. Never mind, that was a coffee shop. So this cistern was built by the Romans. It's actually the oldest one in the city. Uh, a cistern is just a place where they would store water. It's an underground water tank basically but they still went out of their way to like make the decorations on the columns and things they just wanted to make it pretty i don't know it's pretty interesting but this is another reason why i love istanbul so much because it has so many different cultures so much history here of all these different empires and civilizations just all wrapped into one you know right down the street you have all these ottoman mosques and beautiful you know the blue mosque and amazing architecture and then just down the street you have ancient roman ruins and roman buildings byzantine buildings it's just it's so unique and interesting of a city so uh i didn't expect that it kind of turns into a rave <laughs> like it becomes a nightclub in there check this out So, we bought a lamp. The dude stood on top of it and it didn't break. You gotta buy a lamp once he does that. I've been wanting one since we got here, basically. And as soon as I saw one of the stores, I wanted it really bad. When the guy stood on top of it, I was sold. Got a little bit of rooftop breakfast going on. It is Ariana's birthday today. Never thought you'd spend uh, your birthday in Istanbul. 
No, ever. Super awesome. I'm jealous. I've never had a birthday anywhere cool like this. I'm gonna give him a tomato. I'm gonna he's, do he's, it. Give him the cheese or something. Oh, well, no. I'm gonna give a seagull cheese. You want a tomato, buddy? <laughs> do you eat tomatoes? I, I don't know. Do seagulls, can they eat tomatoes? Or did I just like... I don't know. It seems like he's enjoying it. Did I just poison him? Okay, well, you can't leave it on the roof, man, because... I'm gonna get in trouble for littering or something. Where are we going today? Um, we are actually going to the Grand Bazaar. Pretty excited. Um, probably all my money's gonna go there. <laughs> has absolutely everything. It's the world's oldest shopping mall and it's hundreds of years old and you can buy anything that you want here. It's really cool. I would offer for you please a little bit. Thank you. I'm not sure what I just put in my mouth but it's great. <laughs> they had to buy some Turkish delight. This stuff is so cool. It's all squishy. You don't like it? <laughs> you gotta be quicker. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, that's fine. Thank you so much. Is it good? It's honestly the best strawberry ice cream. I've ever had. It's so fresh. It was worth the fight. Oh yeah. We're gonna go check out this mosque now. It's so pretty inside by the Google image pictures, so we'll see. So I got a Turkish coffee. I have absolutely no idea what's going on here. So you got that, which is a coffee. You got a shot glass of water. I think it's water. Could be vodka, we'll see. And then you got like a little thing of Turkish delight. So like, this sounds stupid, but do you put the Turkish delight into the coffee? Or is that just like a side? A that sugar. comes with the coffee. I think that's meant to make your coffee sweet. Yeah, does it act like a sugar? Like, I mean, it looks it's like... It's really sweet. Like, when we had it earlier, it was really sweet, so... And then the shot glass of water. I'm, I'm just really confused what's going on. So Google came to the rescue. So you take a sip of water to cleanse your palate, then you sip the coffee. There's a bunch of grounds in the bottom, so you don't want to stir it or mix it because that's going to make the whole thing kind of muddy and gross. So... You drink it until you get down to the coffee grounds, use the water to cleanse it because it's strong, and that's just a little snack. How is it? It's really different. This is very black, but it's like a different kind of black. It's, it's good. It's different. It's good though. Really? Yeah. I kind of want to take a sip, but I don't like coffee like that, you so... Should try it. It's hot. Oh, I'm not gonna like this. Is it hot? It's not that bad. Let's try it. Let's take a sip. Isn't it a little like puchadita? No, no, no. You don't want to stir it up because it has all the coffee grounds no, 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 to get on there. No, 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 I don't want to stir it up. I just want to take a sip of it. It's different, right? Yeah. It's, it's not like any other coffee. You don't hate it? Apparently, if you are supposed to be able to like tell the future by like the, the grinds in the bottom of oh, it. Oh, do you? Whenever you drink it, you, they can like you're supposed to be able to like, read the the grinds in it or oh. grounds and uh, tell it, like you can see the, like the future or whatever. That's so neat. Check out the. It doesn't really show up in the camera, but it's like a gelatin. It's all muddy at the bottom. 
Cause that's where all the grounds it's are. Cool. I want to touch it. Thick boy. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite thing about Istanbul has to be the history of the city. We have the Romans, the Byzantines, then the Ottoman Empire, all these empires, and this was their capital. And just has, it's just so rich with history. I don't know, I think that's neat. I'm into that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. 